Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just admit it and just be honest here. Cardi B, rapper slash entertainer, Cardi B has to be one of the most unstoppable women on the face of the planet because she can say and do anything no matter how incriminating it is there there will be nothing that will happen to her like she's really just untouchable she's unbeatable she's like thanos like she has to be the thanos of the female race okay now bear in mind of course a lot of women actually really do get away with a lot of stuff especially when it comes to saying things you know especially of the volatile kind and things like that women can say whatever that like pertains to violence unless it's against children but if it's against another like i don't know say woman or man it's it's okay it's fine people actually find it entertaining people actually applaud it it's it's really weird but if a man says what cardi b says then you know yo he might be going to jail or there might at least be an investigation or something you know it's it's crazy the double standard that uh that goes on really now disclaimer before i do continue further into this video i do not and i do repeat i do not promote bashing of women like i i really don't do that i don't promote that i don't condone that okay but i am not afraid to give some criticism and i think a lot of people really confuse these kind of videos that are just being critical versus actual bashing and woman hating and and all that so before anybody comes into my comment section and tries to call me a misogynistic cisgendered uh -huh, chauvinist pig of the patriarchy or whatever the fuck you come up with these days check yourself all right i, I don't condone that stuff and my comment section is not a direct d reflection of me okay it's not all right these are individuals i don't control what people do when they fix their thumbs or their little fingers to type in these comment sections like it's not a reflection of of what i think so let's just get that understood now let's shift back a couple of years ago about cardi b i do believe this was a couple of years ago when she came out and said this cardi b literally got on i think ig live i do believe it was ig live because she loves her ig lives right she i think she got on ig live and literally came out and admitted that she used to when she was a stripper okay when she was a stripper she used to literally lure men back to like hotel rooms drug them knock them out unconsciously and rob them okay she literally admitted to this to the public a literal criminal act knocking people unconscious and stealing their shit and nothing happened she still is allowed to roam free it wasn't even an investigation nothing nobody looked into that it was just like oh oh god cardi b <laughs> yeah like that's just so crazy that you used to like rob people you know like and knock them unconscious but nothing happened but see it's funny because bobby Smurda, you know rapper and still incarcerated till this day i do believe on his former hit song hot nigga and it's okay i'm black I, I i can i can say that but yeah on that song it, the whole song was literally him admitting to him and his squad completely committing all kinds of criminal acts okay and you know it, it's funny the stereotype that you know rappers they like literally tell on themselves in songs it, it's really true but but yeah man basically bobby Sparta told on him and the whole team whole a whole bunch of people was hauled off to jail the federal government like the fbi got involved there was a investigation launched because of that song and all the things that he was saying in that song and bobby Schmurder, like i said is still incarcerated till this day but cardi b can come on ig live and say that yo she used to literally knock dudes out and rob them when she was a stripper and there was like no no repercussions or at least nobody like looked into that like i'm just saying does that not sound crazy does that not sound a little tad bit unfair <laughs> 
I'm just saying, man. Now let's fast forward to the present day, okay? So now I will say this, I don't care about celebrity like gossip. I don't care about celebrities, relationships and stuff like that. Like I could care less because I don't know these people. And I honestly think it's weird that people care so much about celebrities being together or not or whatever. But Offset, rapper of the Migos, you guys know who Offset is, I'm pretty sure. But Offset of the Migos and, and Cardi B have had a relationship and got married. They even had a kid together. Okay, I know that much. But I, I guess they're married-ish now? Married-ish? Or kind of married or not married or, tr or in between? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. Like I said, I don't pay attention to this stuff. But yeah, they were married, I do know, at a point, you know, unquestionably. And... Yeah, now I think what last like earlier this month or something like that, or I think it was last month, like late September, that there was like a divorce filing that happened, and the everybody was like acting all weird and like, oh my god, they're breaking up! I can't believe this. Uh, but uh, yeah, so that happened, and I think fast forward to like what last week or earlier this week i think it was last week that cardi b actually came out and made a very interesting tweet right because around that time and i did my research around that time that the divorce was happening or they were like working through the divorce or something like that but there was a narrative that was created by the internet saying that offset is being an emotional abuser he's basically manipulating her every time that she's trying to leave he's just basically shackling her down with manipulation tactics with lavish gifts and 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 really just basically assuming that she's there against her will or, or something like that which you know i'm pretty sure cardi b is there because she wants to be uh, they have a kid together so but just to go ahead and you know conclude this video pretty much cardi b has words or had words to respond and i'm gonna put up the tweet right here now this tweet took some digging to find because cardi b of course deleted this tweet so you know this was kind of hard to find the actual tweet but luckily found it now i'm gonna read the woman's uh, tweet that actually sparked cardi b's response now she says that i know it's all jokes but offset is an abuser textbook emotional abuse when she tries to leave he manipulates on average, it takes people up to seven tries to leave an abusive relationship before they actually leave for good. Now, I will say this, all of you people on Twitter are not qualified to talk about half of the stuff that you talk about. Look, she's talking about on average, it takes seven tries. I, I don't even think that's a real stat. I don't think that's a real like shred of data that tracks how many times it takes for people to leave i think you just really just made that up but in response cardi b says abusive girl i'm the one that do the hitting and the shit talking i'm just a crazy b-i-t-c-h one day i want to smack a nigga and leave the next week i want to ride his face and get the what Oh God, that is explicit. You'll be trying to analyze too much. We are just simply dysfunctional. So Cardi B just literally admitted, or she literally admitted last week that she abuses her husband and nobody's coming to freaking offsets rescue my guy. Like nobody, like, no, like we're not going to initiate, you know, Mission Delta to like save offset from Cardi B. We're just, just gonna just, have nothing but silence for this clear abuse that she just like she's hitting this man she's hitting him she's like literally like talking about shoving his face in her crotch it's like a i can't even say that bro because it's so goddamn nasty like i can't say it oh my god like bro she got this entire tweet off publicly to millions of people and nobody has nothing really to say about it but oh imagine can you imagine a man saying that oh my god yo people would be saying yo put him in handcuffs oh god we need to rescue his wife oh god he's such an abuser oh oh there would be an investigation launch oh god police would probably be knocking on a, a, a dude door like immediately bro i 
will never a day in my life be able to come out and say that yo i admittedly hit my wife or hit my girlfriend or hit my fiance like what but i would be in jail immediately even though look i don't i don't hit my girlfriend you know what I'm, saying? I, I'm in a healthy functional relationship of over a year now with my wonderful girlfriend i never hit her i could never hit i could never hit a woman in general bro i mean unless she's got a gun and she's trying to kill me but i th this is just crazy bro the double standard is just crazy i do johnny depp probably would have never gotten the justice that he gotten from his wife beating his ass without having clear recordings but if you just come out and say oh yeah my wife is hitting me nobody would believe you that's it uh, 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 i'm just lost uh, i'm just done I'm, I'm done no words